Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Bee Monster Laboratory. So glad you could join me. Today I'm going to start a series of videos on the most complete starter kit for the Mega 2560 project. Today we'll just do a short video on how to put the software on your computer and ensure that it is communicating with your Elegoo Mega 2560 microcontroller. I've had this kit for a couple months. I've tinkered around with it. It is a lot of fun. I am by no means an expert, but in future videos we will go through the lessons that are included in the package and we'll see if we can come up with some practical uses for this, uh, this Arduino kit. It'll be a lot of fun. I hope you follow the channel and join me. The first thing that you'll want to do is go to the Elegoo website and go to the download section and come down here and find your kit. I have the Elegoo, the most complete starter kit for the Elegoo Mega 2560. So you will click that. It will download here. The first thing you're going to want to do is download the Arduino IDE for Windows, uh, Mac, or Linux. I use Windows, so I'll be downloading this one. And you, I downloaded it at the Elegoo website where I downloaded my uh, package information down here, the starter kit. You can also uh, download this on the Arduino website, but it was just easier for me to go back here. You will, uh, as you're downloading, you will come across the uh, license agreement. Just click agree. Next, you'll come across the installation options. Make sure all these are checked. They should be. Uh, click next. Select the location where you'll be downloading the folder. Next, you may see the option for uh, installing the device software. Uh, of course, you want to do that. Go ahead and install that. The next thing you want to do is plug in a cable connected to your computer. Um, you're going to want a, a USB connection for your computer. And I'm just using an old printer cable. You can see it used to be to an Epson printer. So I am plugging it in. And it should light up just like you see there. When you plug in your device, you might be prompted to uh, go ahead and search for drivers um, through Windows. Just uh, click out of that. The best way to do that is to go through your device manager. And I like Windows 10 because I can just go down here and type in device manager rather than going through control panel. And so go down here to ports. And then you should see the Arduino Mega 2560. For me, it's COM7. Uh, for other people, it might be 10 or 20 or whatever. Uh, right click that and then update driver. And then come down here and click browse my computer for driver software because you did download it. And it says the best drivers for your device are already installed. That is good, so that is an important step. So the next thing we'll want to do is go to the Arduino IDE software and we will uh, add some libraries or a library uh, through the library manager. You just go up here to sketch, you go down to um, include a library, manage libraries. From here you can uh, wait for a minute to let it load but from here you can search libraries or just scroll through them. Here I'm going to search for the bridge library. And you can see I've already installed it. You would just click install right here. And as you can see there is another version available. So I will update it. And the library is um, a folder with code in it that allows you to connect your board to your sensors and your displays and stuff. So very handy to have there are hundreds of libraries and they're free because this is um, it's all open source so no problem there sometimes these libraries are distributed in uh, forms of a zip file so in order to include that in your library you would go to sketch include a library add a zip library and I will find the folder my Elegoo 2560 folder so in my folder for the Elegoo that I just downloaded, I have libraries. I will open that up. I will just pick one of these. Uh, Liquid Crystal sounds pretty cool. I will open 
and it will be included in my library menu. If I go up here to sketch, go down to my library menu, come down here to contributed libraries, there is the liquid crystal. I've also did the same thing with keypad and uh, Matrix 55 was actually from another um, Arduino kit that I purchased and I installed the um, zip file that they included which is their library as well so that's how you include zip file libraries. The final thing you'll need to do is open your serial monitor so on the, uh, the IDE Arduino IDE software here you uh, click on your serial monitor and that is open you want to and if it doesn't open um, just go to tools come down here to actually have it set on another board you want to set it on the correct board and you want to come down here and uh, connect to the correct port as well and then that should open no problem you also want to come down here and make sure that is on AV RISP uh, MK, MK2 and now you can open your serial monitor you want to make sure that this uh, baud rate is set at 9600 and that it is uh, auto scroll is selected otherwise you're going to have a hard time getting it to work and uh, connecting to your um, your board so make sure to do that it's easy to miss so since our software is set up to communicate with our board, hopefully, we are going to test it out by opening up the program uh, Blink, which is an example program. And these are read-only programs, so we are going to go to Basics and Blink, and we are going to save our own Blink file. So we'll go up here to Save As, so that we can manipulate these numbers and save them. Uh, that way you can change it and save it to whatever you want. We're going to change these numbers down here so that they blink at different, so that the light will blink at different rates. And uh, we can ensure that, uh, that this is communicating with our board, that the software and our board are talking to each other. So just go to um, File, Save As, find your folder, your Elegoo folder. I put mine in the library. I've got it listed as my blink. So you can come down here, just type in my blink, my, and then hit save, and that's what you've got. So um, we're going to go over here to open recent, open recent uh, my blink. I got it, I got it on there twice. Okay, so open up my own version of blink here, my blink. It's going to be my version because I'm going to uh, change the numbers down here and how fast it blinks. Right now it's at 100. Uh, it was originally at a thousand, uh, but we'll just change those around. Uh, some things you could know, you should know about uh, about this is that anything past these two lines right here is considered just a comment. So the setup function runs once when you press reset or power the board. So uh, that just tells you about the setup section here. It runs one time. And uh, anything past, like I said before, anything past these two lines is just a comment. Uh, the loop function runs over and over again forever. So that's what the loop does. It'll run through this command, and then it'll start back up here and run through the command again. And if you're wanting to look at each section of the command, you look at the comments out from the side. And this turns the LED on, high, and then wait for a second. This is in milliseconds over here. And then uh, turn the LED off is what this one does, and then wait for a second. So these were originally a thousand, so a thousand milliseconds. This is in milliseconds. So a thousand milliseconds is one second. So we are going to change this from just regular um, blinking. We're going to change it to 500, and that should make it blink twice as fast. And uh, we, we'll upload it to the board, and then. If we don't get an error, it will be uh, connected correctly. So I just change that, go up here to upload, and you look down here, the progress is being made. I get no warnings, and my board is blinking twice as fast as it was. I've come down here and type in 250, and then 250 down here, and then click upload, and I'll look at it loading. There's no problems. 
So I see the, the light is blinking twice as fast as it was before. So um, it's blinking a lot faster than it originally was. And if you have issues here, if you come across um, like a warning or a, an error, you can always go back up here to tools and you want to check to make sure you have the correct board selected and the correct processor selected and it is important to have the correct port selected otherwise you're not going to be able to communicate with your serial monitor and uh, if you have all that selected you should be good to go so this board is good we have successfully installed our software and it communicates with our board the uh, serial monitor connects with our board as well well guys that is it for this video I th there's nothing exciting about this video but I thought I would post it uh, just in case somebody asked about uh, setting it up or if they had any problems, hopefully, hopefully this would be helpful. There will be some other videos going up with uh, lesson, other lessons in this package, so uh, remember to follow the channel and uh, check it out. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. I hope it was informative to you, and we'll see you next time.